What's going on everybody? This is Tatro and today I'm going to be performing for you on the Novation circuit. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I'm going to show you some of my performance tips on the circuit. Enjoy. All right, I hope you enjoyed that Novation Circuit performance, and now I'm gonna share with you some of my tips so you can create a similar performance on the circuit. I always use filters as a means of progression and variation. We're dealing with loop-based music here, and you've only got two synths, so you need to find a way to make that fresh. So I'll use individual filters on the different instruments, and then I'll also use the master filter as a performance tool. After I recorded the bass line, I was able to create some progression by bringing up the filter and creating more of a gritty saw type sound. 
Another tip is to use the synth that you use for your bass line as a lead later on in the track. Usually they can exist at two totally different octaves so they don't end up interfering with each other. When you're playing in that higher octave, you can either just improvise over the bass line or you can record right on top of it. If you try overdubbing with the monophonic synths, you'll get this cool effect where it's going to constantly duck under the loop you've already created and you'll notice that my hands are playing slightly different rhythms than what you're hearing and what that amounts to is you end up filling in the gaps between where the notes you already played in your loop and the new notes you're playing now so you can get some really interesting rhythms and melodic activity in this track it provides sort of a glitchy lead sound My last tip is to utilize that decay function on your drums and samples. This allowed me to introduce the vocal samples, but have them be really subtle and plucky so you really didn't know what was going to come in. Because the vocal samples are the main feature towards the end of the track, and I wanted to bring them in subtly. So I started playing the line with the short plucky decay, and then gradually dialed that in as the track built up. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found these tips useful. If you have other Novation circuit performance tips, leave them in the comments below. Also feel free to ask me any further questions about this performance. If you enjoy live electronic music performances, tutorials, and free sound packs, click that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching. This has been Tatro. Have a good one.